Yo, Warren, man, my girl's sweet with this move, man. Got that combo. Oh no, you gonna try to confuse me? Yo, that's not cool, bro. I got you, I got you. Watch this. Confusion strike. Mmm! That's right, I love my girl Aqua. I love Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Yo, Destiny, what you playing, man? Oh, uh, I'm just playing Publishers Clearing House. Really? Okay, now I gotta stop this. Now I just gotta quit what I'm doing here and just stop what I'm doing because. Yeah. Okay, what's the problem now? Yo, why are you always playing that game? Like, I just want to know. Do you really think you have a chance of winning? Like, do you really think you have a chance of winning? Dude, of course I believe in myself, alright? I believe in myself enough to know that I can achieve anything that I want. Anything that I want to do. Winning this money, helping out my family, helping out my, fr my friends, everybody who's ever helped me and supported me in my life. I believe I can do it. Like, I just believe in myself. I don't have to have anybody else's approval of things. I, I have my approval and my approval is just worth a lot. Like, I have so much value within me. And I see the other people. So, I really do believe in myself. Just as much as I believe in everybody else, dude. I, I really do. I mean, you're so full of yourself, dude. You really are. You know what? You're right. I am full of myself. I believe in myself so much that I believe I can make anything happen. And that's a good thing. Now, go get me some orange juice, you clone. Orange juice. Thank you, Glong. Man, shut up. Yo, what up? It's your boy Dexter Pipkins, aka Jimmy No Fro, aka Jimmy the Legend, aka the Legend of Hip Hop. I am a new video contributor to site to go YouTube channel. And before I start today's video, I just want to thank the very people who brought me on this channel. I just want to say thank you so much. Shout out to Manel. Thank you so much for emailing me back and forth. Like, you're a very fast emailer, I have to say. <laughs> today's video topic that I'm going to discuss will be about why it is good to be full of yourself. I will be talking about it from my perspective of how I see it and then the perspective of other people on how they see it and how to truly be full of yourself. And the last thing I'll talk about in the video is the water bottle effect of being yourself. So without further ado, let's start today's video. Let's go. So I decided that I would start by going to Google and typing in what does you're so full of yourself mean? Because I wanted to see what society would say about this. You know, what does it mean from their standpoint and how they see it? And it led me to Yahoo Answers. And the question topic right there saying, what does you're so full of yourself mean? And the best answer came from Luke Superior when he said, arrogant, like that Kanye West song. La, 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 man, you can't tell me nothing, right? <laughs> yeah, I love that comment. The second best answer, I believe, is, in my opinion, is came from the user who doesn't ha doesn't seem to have his name shown up on here. But it says, you think too much of yourself. Actually, I don't think being full of yourself is bad. You should have pride in yourself and believe you can do anything. I've decided to give you five more. These to me stand out. Arrogant or big headed like the other dude said or it also means you think too highly of yourself and think you're the only person that anyone cares about, etc. Sweetie says, IMO, it means that you are confident but in a big headed, arrogant, egotistical, vain, self-centered manner. Some people are threatened or intimidated by your so full of yourself people. Pat said, thinking you are somehow superior to others just because you may have accomplished more financially and have had a more affluent life. John said, it means you care about yourself and have no respect for anyone else because you don't know they exist. Self-centered, selfish, conceited was the last thing that was said by Chi Chi. Why do people say the words, you're so full of yourself? Like, just like you saw on the Yahoo Answers, people really do say that, even though those answers were like seven years ago. They, they do say stuff like, oh, you're, like, you're so arrogant, you're so cocky, you know, you really do think you're better than other people. Oh, you're so full of yourself. When it comes down to competition, a lot of people would see this and that as, oh yeah, arrogant, I'm better than you, you're better than me, let's fight each other to see, prove who's the best, right? Right? 
when you put that with the words you're so full of yourself it comes into play very well because you're going to see arrogance and you're going to see cockiness and you're going to see all this put into those words well I'm here to tell you today that you do not have to be that way of being full of yourself you can be the good side of it and the good side of it is being a person who has so much within him he's so full she's so full that he she can give themselves to the world that they're able to give off their energy their love their strength their power on to the world and not only that but they give more and they get back more and it just keeps going on the process now there is a true definition the real real true definition of being yourself and here is the article right now so I found this article during my research it is titled Go ahead, be full of yourself via the Feng Shui Fairy by Claire Bernstein. The date, June 29th, 2009. Wow, it's been a long time. So I grabbed this much information from the article, and it says, What does the term full of yourself mean in American culture? It's usually said to someone that seems cocky or has too much pride or confidence. It's definitely a criticism and a way to knock people down a peg or two. Now, I'm not advocating that people go around considering themselves better than others because I believe compassion is so essential for a healthy life and healthy energy. However, when we are able to fully acknowledge and appreciate our own gifts, we'll be more likely to see the gifts in others and have a life full of appreciation. When you fill your own cup and focus your energy inwards, you can experience more abundance because more energy will spill forth from that. Your cup will be overflowing. When you give of yourself, you'll be giving from the overflow rather than from your core. This is so important for anybody. It is particularly important for healers and parents who give and give without reservation to others but don't know how to give to themselves. When you take time to care for yourself and set healthy boundaries, you'll experience much better flow in all areas of your life. You'll have more energy, more ease in your relationships, more confidence, less resentment, anger, and burnout. It's all in how it's done and what your intention is. If you lead from a place of love, respect, and compassion for yourself and others, you'll get that in return. The full article will be in the description below for all to read. Now that you know about the true meaning of what it really means to just really be full of yourself, I'm going to tell you how to be full of yourself. Number one, believe in you. You have to believe in your power. You have to believe in your strength and believe that you can do so much for this world, including yourself. You have to be able to take time for yourself, take time for others, you know, do the things that's really going to benefit everything in your life. Just making it healthy, wealthy, lovingly, just doing all these wonderful things to just make it whole, to make it full over and over again. Number two, you have to believe in others. When you start to believe in yourself, you start to feel a lot of trust, a lot of strength, and a, a, a lot of these things that's found within you. And so when you find it within you, you find it within other people. And when you find it within other people, you find that connection. And when that connection is there, you are winning. And when I say winning, I'm not talking Charlie Sheen winning. I'm in like, you are freaking winning everything right now. You got the connection with this person. You guys are working on a project together. You're conquering the game. You're making your name. Both of y'all are just doing a lot of great things. And it's because you believe in each other. You believe in this person's strength and talent enough to really put him on, put her on. You believe in this person so much that they believe in you. Number three, remember that you are better than you. Never look at yourself as better than the other person, all right? Especially the people that you work with. Never have one thought, not one thought at all, or even say that you're better than the, than the person that's next to you. It's always important for you to be better than you because the same person who can love himself, love herself, and bring it out to the world is the same person that can kill that love instantly. Remember that. Fourth and final step is very simple. Love yourself. Love who you are. Love everything about you. Love your passions. Love your talents. Love what you do for fun. Love your family. Love your friends. Love everybody who's around you. Just love you and you will know that everything is going to be alright. Because love will always be here. The last thing in this video that I'm going to show you is called the water bottle effect. 
So here you have a bottle of water. Now, as water, its purpose is to give us not only something to drink, but deep down it gives us the strength, the energy to carry on, to keep going. It makes us healthy. That's what our body is. We are this bottle of water. We are healthy and we are lovingly, we are, we are strength, we are pure, we are, I guess you could say we're thirsty. <laughs> The moment that this bottle of water even goes halfway or goes completely empty, you'll definitely be able to see it. You ever hear when people say, I am completely drained out, I feel empty today? Well, that's what it feels like when you're an empty bottle of water. When you're empty, you do not feel like you have any more energy to give to anybody. So, with all of this being said, I have some questions for you. Have you ever been full of yourself? If so, have you ever received anything positive or negative from it? Let me guys know what you think in the comment section because your best answer is the one that I will use in my, in my, in my video for next week. I make videos on this channel, one video every two weeks. And so I will see you on... The date will be right here. It's somewhere on the screen. <laughs> but yeah, I will see you next week on that video. Make sure you guys check out the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel, site to go Make sure you subscribe to us. Make sure you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. And also, yeah, our information is below. Go to site to gonet Check out the website itself. Uh, all the blogs, uh, our articles, everything you get to see and just read. It's all amazing. Um, just check out. We have more stuff to come. We uh, check out our Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. We're everywhere. We're everywhere. If you guys like what you saw today and you want to check out my YouTube videos, all of my information is in the description below. YouTube.com slash K2S Meets. K2S Meets. That's how I say my name. And that's my YouTube channel. You guys can go check that out. It's in the description below. Just click on the link. Subscribe to me. Go watch all of my videos. You'll love them. You'll like them. I promise you, you will. Thank you so much for your time. I had a great time today. I just love the energy I gave off. And I just know in my heart. And I'm at the same time hoping that I've received some very positive feedback for this video. But yes, thank you so much. Thank you to Manel. Thank you to everybody on uh, site to go for having me on. And I will see you guys in two weeks. Thank you. I'm out.